Uh, hello, I'm Joe Earl, Director of Japan Society Gallery in New York, and I'm standing in the middle of our current exhibition, Serizawa, Master of Japanese Textile Design. And we're in a room which is devoted just to the screens that Serizawa created after the, during the 1950s. Um, everything that Serizawa made in textile was done using stencils in a process that he perfected himself and which he carried out, of which every stage of which he carried out himself from the original design through cutting the stencil, through applying the rice resist, to dyeing the cloth, protecting the areas that he'd, ever, that he'd already dyed, um, dyeing the cloth again. This is an immensely elaborate, complex process. And when you look at his finished work, you never get the sense that this is something that was extremely difficult and painstaking and hard to produce. Every design that he did is, is fresh in its use of color, free in its use of motifs that he drew from Japan, Korea, China, and all over the rest of the world, and absolutely original in its composition. Um, Mr. Serizawa would come to the studio and or the workshop and make sure and oversee that whatever we were doing was done correctly or the way he wanted it to be done. And this was one of the pieces I worked on, um, and it was one of the last pieces I worked on when I was there. It was just for the coloring, not for the paste resist or putting the stencil, the paste resist through the stencil. And um, he always was in charge of cutting stencils. I think that he didn't leave, that was one of the few things he never left to any of the apprentices or the um, people working under him. And because this, in the stencil and the stencil cutting was the, was the energy of, of the art piece itself. And, but other people, apprentices, would, some would do the resist and some would do the coloring. And there was another woman um, who always came down from Sendai for his special projects, um, Mrs. Saito or Saito-san. So we worked together on this piece, dyeing it and doing it as a, um, for a commission. When I was a little, I don't remember how many years ago, but um, my parents in Japan uh, subscribed the, uh, the one of the Japanese new, major newspapers. In the Sunday papers, every week, or maybe once a month, the Serida's collection is a, uh, the, there's the, they feature the articles and in also the picture, I mean pictures. That's how I came to know Serida's name. And I didn't realize that that was a big, big name back then, 70s or 80s, I don't remember. Then my mother got very much influenced by Bingata, also the Serizawa had made a lot. Um, so that's, my, our, my mother bought uh, two kimonos for us in Okinawa Bingata, and then in New York I still keep them. And then probably that's the first kimono that I wore back in Japan.